it takes a, a lot. When you say that there's gorgeous resorts here, knowing your background, that says a lot. Yeah. That these are the best of the best. The best of the best. The other thing, um, in Vision 2030, uh, there's two very, very important human capital mandates. One is that the kingdom will use all of its resources to ensure that every Saudi has everything they need to be the best embodiment of their own self-image. What, what are your goals? What are your dreams? Now, my staff, 2,400, the average age is 31 years old. You take me out, it probably goes to 24. I'm not sure. But the crown prince says, dream big, work hard. He works an 80-hour week. So the only thing that stands between you and your dreams and your goals, your passion, your work ethic, the belief in yourself, and the belief in the future of this blessed kingdom. So now it's not about what Vision 2030 will do for you. It's what can I do to sustain 2030, but also in Vision 2030 on areas of expertise that we didn't have yet areas of technology that we're coming up to and becoming leaders in, marketing, entertainment, tourism. Vision 2030 says we will attract the best and brightest minds from around the world to help us on our mission of fulfillment of a great quality of life for generations to come until we develop that expertise internally. So for me, I don't have to be here. I choose to be here, and my favorite thing of being here is to get to work with these young, dynamic Saudis every day. They are fired up, and they're led by an extraordinary uh, prime minister and crown prince. We've heard so much about sustainability being here at LEAP. What importance will sustainability have in Dorea? Sustainability, if you say that word to the crown prince, he'll look at you inquisitively because now in the last 20 years it's become a buzzword, not to him. What's the alternative to sustainability, right? So now the, large, the, the most prestigious uh, award in the world for environmental protection and sustainability is the LEADS designation. Dedea had the largest right now, the largest platinum LEAD designation in the world with four kilometers. We just finished. 110 million construction man hours without a principal accident. Today, uh, just for the fourth year in a row, won best place to work. So we have a happy staff, a safe work environment, uh, uh, the largest sustainability and environmental protection. Why? Because every single meeting you have with the Crown Prince, from tech to culture to entertainment to agriculture, to mining and minerals. Every meeting, he's thinking about quality of life. Are my people happy? Are they healthy? Are they educated? Do they believe in their future? What will life be like in 2030, 2040, 2050? So we'll preserve our 300 year heritage at Didea. Thanks to His Majesty and the Crown Prince, they made a, na we have our, one of our big holidays here is National Day. So September 23rd, we'll celebrate our 94th year of the unification by His Royal Highness, the King, uh, King Abdulaziz. But this King, this Crown Prince, made a federal holiday on February 22nd to celebrate the 300-year history of the birthplace of the kingdom, Tereya.